Okay, we're going to review how to import a logo or an image to uh, engrave with your laser. Uh, the first thing you're going you're gonna to do is open up a file. In my case here, I just opened up a uh, blank file, started with something fresh. Um, start up on the menu bar here, you're going to click on File, Import. You could also hold down the Control key and the I key as a shortcut. Um, I have a Hallmark logo here and uh, I'm going to drop that in the middle of the page. Um, the logo here is actually what's called raster art and if I were to zoom in on it, which I will here, you'll notice that the edges of the K here are very pixelated and fuzzy and that's, uh, that's what raster art is or, or bitmap art. Um, any file that you get that's like a JPEG image, a bitmap, a GIF file, um, those are all going to be um, like have fuzzy edges to it. What we want to do is uh, get a quality engraving out of this. Now I would start by testing this on a piece of scrap wood um, because you may be able to stop right here. Just engrave it as is. It looks great. It, uh, um, it works for the item that you're engraving on. Uh, if you're making a larger piece, you'll notice that it's going to get fuzzier as you make it larger. So um, you really may, may need to do vector art if it's a, a larger piece. Uh, if you do want to convert this to uh, vector art, now vector art is actually lines and nodes. Um, so imagine uh, like just typing the letter A. If you were to uh, change the size of that, it's going to maintain the same resolution. It's, uh, it's called vector art. Um, we're going to turn this into vector art by clicking this button here, the vectorize bitmap button. And uh, this is more art than it is science, uh, but what this is saying uh, is, do you want me to cut the corners a little bit? Should I uh, filter out some of the noise? Uh, do you want very angular curves or um, should I round them out? And um, you can adjust this to get a different uh, result. I'm just going to hit OK. I'm going to go with the, the default there. Here's a preview of what you're, we're looking at. Now the program has found four different colors uh, in that logo. I'm going to actually re reduce that down to black and white. Because I either want to engrave it or I don't. And so I'm going to take the two darkest colors here, fuse those together. And I'm going to um, take the two light colors and fuse those together. So now I just have black and white. Click OK here. Now that dropped it in over top of our original uh, bitmap. But here's the bitmap. This is the vector art. And uh, as is, it's probably not going to turn out very good for you. So what we're going to do next is uh, remove this outline. Now if you were to engrave the um, this bitmap, uh, it will not engrave that outline. You can go ahead and test it to, to try it, but uh, it shouldn't engrave that outline. Once you vectorize it though, it, it recognizes that outline and it would engrave it. Um, I'm going to select all of this. We're going to uh, ungroup it because it's now made up of different uh, pieces. And now just selecting the outside edge, I'm going to hit the delete button. So we've removed all that. If I select on this, you can see I'm still picking up this uh, little um, um, image down here at the bottom. I want to get rid of that. So I'm going to ungroup it again and then just select that and hit delete. Okay, so this still looks a little off. If I uh, group it all together again, so I draw a box around it and hit the group button, it'll actually combine all those pieces that were there. Okay, so now we have the logo as um, vector art. So if I um, make this a lot larger, it's going to stay crisp and clear around the edges. Um, in fact, if I zoom in on it, you'll see that the edges are very uh, crisp. Um, if I were to make our bitmap larger, kind of to match here, I'll move this around um, and zoom in on both of them, you can see that uh, this is very pixelated. That's our original. And then this is the uh, vector art. So uh, let's get rid of that pixelized image there. So now we just have our vector art. And you can take this and go ahead and engrave it. It should turn out just fine as is. Um, but uh, more than that, what you should do, once you've got that um, set up for you, go ahead and click on your symbols library. And uh, let's add that to the symbols library. And we'll call that um, Hallmark. And once it's added, uh, you can bring this, this image up on any of your files and whether it's a small as a pen you know you can uh, you can make it really small or if it's a large plaque you can um, grab that corner and make it very large and it's going to maintain the same 
uh, the same resolution no matter how big or how small. So enjoy.